Hello, my fairy friends. It's me, Tiger. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are here on Emerald Island and we are going to be doing a demo day. Basically, I built these fairy boats um, on this little dock here on my island. And yes, they are very cute and I love them, but I feel like they just don't match the vibe that I'm going for here on Emerald. I feel like the rest of my island is a very like foresty, natural fairy core vibe. And this is more of like a city vibe and yes, it does kind of match But also it looks very out of place and I actually asked you guys on my channel a few days ago Maybe even a week ago. I asked if you guys would rather me keep the fairy boat dock or if you would rather me transform it into something more epic, something more beautiful. So that is what we're going to do today because so many of you guys voted yes. Tear them babies down and build something new. So we're just going to go ahead and waste no time. We're going to tear these down. Just grab all of these items really quickly. During the process of tearing down the boats, I'm also going to go ahead and fill in this huge like lake type water feature so i'm just gonna do that and then we'll have like a blank canvas to work with i'm so sorry if my voice sounds a little groggy it's super early in the morning i just woke up um while i'm recording this so you know it's me sleepy tiger today i did not realize just how huge this build is i mean this is like taking forever this whole area here was water and there's still like another half to do i did not realize how large this is honestly this is gonna open a ton of space but also the build that i want to do um today in place of this is a pretty large build so i don't know but i don't think it's going to take up as much room as this build did so at least this will be opening up some room on our island time for the second boat to come down wow this is such a bittersweet moment and finally we are finished with demolishing the ferry boat dock look how much room i have to run around it's a huge empty field this is this is kind of crazy looking oh wow i didn't realize how much room we would have this is so fun i feel like i'm running through a field letting out all of my worries i wanted to give a shout out to someone named sierra i'm gonna mark out their last name because this is on facebook and i don't want to you know invade their privacy here but they have this wonderful idea for like the method on actually building this crescent moon island type thing so they dug out all of these holes and then i'm assuming they just added water like around those so that's what we're gonna try to do um the actual original creator of crescent moon islands i don't know who that is because you know they're just such a popular thing so it's kind of hard to track down the original creator in that sense i guess we just need to decide where we want the like tip of the actual like moon to be I mean, I'm thinking like right here because then we'll have the actual like side of it go like this and then this can be all water and then maybe the bridge can connect to this. We're going to have to move this over a little bit because it is coming too close to the cliff that I have here at the entrance. So I think I'm going to move it over to like. Oh, maybe I should move it over like quite a bit like right here. We have the actual shape of the crescent moon now There is just this little rock here that is in the way So let's go ahead and destroy that and then we can finish off the little the little side here So this is what it looks like you can see that it is a crescent moon I'm assuming that they just started to add water just around the edges and wherever looked good. So that's what I'm just gonna do here. Okay, so we finally got the actual like rough shape of the Crescent Moon Pond and some of the water around it. Um, it looks, it's a very rough draft, okay? So I need to come and destroy a bunch of these little holes here. That way we can kind of smooth out the edges of the actual crescent moon. And then we need to go ahead and do some waterscaping around it to make it look a little bit better. So I just need to cover up all of these holes and then we'll go ahead and do that. I did do some like waterscaping on this side to kind of connect it with the river over here. We're gonna have to have a bridge going across right there. And then I wanted to have a bridge 
maybe connecting over here somewhere i don't really know i think we might have to do just a bridge connecting to the top i don't think th we're gonna be able to do one from the side here now i just want to kind of round off all of the edges of the crescent moon i don't know if this is gonna look very good but we're just gonna do it anyways i think we're gonna have to leave this one a straight edge so that it will actually connect with the bridge here but this is what it looks like so far um i feel like this could be a little bit more open for the water around the pond i don't want it to be like a huge lake i just want it to be like a simple little stream going all the way around it and then over here is where we'll want to connect it with a bridge so i'm gonna actually have to dig up some of this stuff and we're gonna have to change the layout that is over here currently that way we can actually connect a bridge this is going to be amazing because now we have this whole area open right here where we can actually do a nice little build of some sort so if you guys have any ideas for what should go right there comment down below oh my gosh you guys take a look at the crescent moon pond on the actual map there it looks so cool oh my goodness okay i i love that so much let me go ahead and just dig out this little tree right here and then we can start making some adjustments for the little bridge that we're gonna have right here so i don't know exactly how wide that this needs to be for the bridge i'm thinking I'm thinking we should actually go grab the bridge before we start. That way we can just kind of play around with it. So the bridge that I want to use is this little like rope wooden bridge. Um, I think it is called the suspension bridge. So we're just going to use this one. Um, how much is this? I don't know how much it is. <laughs> I forgot. I clicked it so quickly. We didn't even get to look at it or look at the price or anything. I was thinking we should just try to place it like right here and just see um, what happens. Okay, so we're going to have to do it like over here. I need to hop across over in this direction. Please let me over here. We're going to have to make this like this i think for the bridge to actually fit here and we can even destroy that really quick okay let's try this again oh look how tiny it is okay yes i really like how tiny that one is that is so cute oh my goodness tiny bridge okay let's pay this off really quick um how much is this 129 thousand bells i got a little too much i thought it would be more expensive so let's just donate as much as possible and now the bridge is paid off what a wonderful feeling <laughs> so that is amazing we got the tiny bridge in the works so i do want to place some shrubs on the edges of the actual bridge here just to make it look really cute shrub up the area that's what i always want to do you know so there we go and then right here i was thinking we can just have one of these like street lamps just kind of chill in here on the edge give it some light at nighttime i mean we could even have another street lamp over here in front of this little shrub on this side we can do that i mean that doesn't look bad that looks pretty cute and then we'll just have to decorate this area over here i'm not really sure like i said earlier if you guys have any ideas for what we should do in this spot please comment them down below we could make it a little cafe since we do have this little like sweets cafe we could do like a bakery maybe over here so that might be a good idea i don't know you guys comment down below you always have amazing ideas so i'm ready to hear them <laughs> So then we're going to also want to have a bridge connecting um, to this side over here, which we'll have to deal with whenever we time travel. But for now, I wanted to go ahead and decorate on the actual like crescent moon pond. So I know I want to have like some trees and just some like pretty naturey items. So I'm going to place one of these cherry blossom trees here and maybe like another one somewhere else i don't really know there's not a lot of space for trees on this little build so we're just gonna place a cedar tree 
and honestly that might be it for trees just because there's not a lot of room and then I wanted to have like some shrubs around of course um, I want it to be like a very like tight walkway so you have to kind of follow a little path to you know move around on the actual pond here I do have a garden wagon that I thought would look pretty cute here on this little island so I'm gonna place some of these little cherry blossom petals and flowers on the ground and then we can place the garden wagon back here I hope that this goes where I want it to go oh this is this is not it this is not the color that I want we're gonna have to customize that but I am gonna place some more petals right here and then we will go customize that but for now let's see what other items we have I need to vault over here because this is where I have all of the items so I guess we should probably have like some sort of pathway going through this little thing so I'm just gonna use this wooden plank pathway that way we can just have it kind of like broken up just going around just in the little areas here um okay so let's just see maybe I should just plant some flowers in this spot here and let's see what all do I have I have so many things this is gonna be a really hard area to decorate just because it's so like I don't know it's just so small and there's it, it's just narrow and it looks really weird in some spots so I'm just gonna throw some random stuff around we can have some mush lamps around the entire area let's do a little flower circle here for another mush lamp you know what would be cuter than the actual garden wagon a little crescent moon chair a crescent moon chair would be so cute that is that is adorable and we could even have maybe some flowers right in front of it <laughs> should we pull it out a little bit so you can actually see it that is so cute I guess we should probably try to place some more of this little like wooden plank pathway going through the area so that it looks more completed we can just kind of have it like this we can even break up the actual pathway with like some more like stone designs and some other cute custom designs I do have these little stars that we can place on the ground everywhere I mean those are really cute and it is like a crescent moon pond so the stars are like perfect and then we actually have the star fragments that we can use I have some of these large ones that we can place around and then I also have some of the Sagittarius fragments that are a little bit smaller I also have some mum cushions Oh, the mum cushions fit right in with this area okay so maybe I should do a mum cushion right here too that's really really cute and on the edges here um we could just do some weeds we can just do some weeds over here I think that's really cute and maybe we can have like a star fragment back here and we can do it on top of these little stars we can do the large star fragment let me see what the mushroom platform would look like right here um I don't know if that looks really weird or not I don't know I don't know I think it looks cute I think it looks fine let's just do some custom designs on the ground and place it there and then we'll do the mum cushion and see what it looks like kind of all together here it is and then let's do the mum cushion can we place things on top of the mum cushion oh <gasps> the little cherry blossom on top of the on top of the mushroom that is so cute oh my goodness I love that okay so maybe we should just do like some more of the wooden plank pathway here and maybe just some cute little flower designs over here some more star fragments can go around and then right here we should just have maybe like some pink roses or something like that honestly this isn't too bad this looks pretty cute so let's plant some weeds here and some weeds over here this area i don't want to touch yet because we don't have the bridges built this looks pretty decent so far i'm gonna go ahead and time travel 
so that we can get this bridge built and see what that looks like and then we'll also be able to build a second bridge going from this side over to that side so i'll be right back okay guys we're back on the island and look at this the tiny bridge is built oh my goodness it is so cute oh my gosh okay this is this is adorable i do think that the little cushion would look really cute just right here next to the bridge so we're just gonna place it down oh no you're telling me there's no room i'm pretty sure there's room thank you and we can turn it around so that you can see the actual like crescent moon and to connect this little bridge to the other part of the island we can just use some of these little grass wooden planks and have them kind of like this and do some weeds around um honestly let's just do some weeds here too oh no we can't place weeds there how sad but what we can do is place some little star fragments i think that that would be really cute kind of have them just like that and then we'll be able to walk across i wonder if i can place like a custom design here oh yeah there we go that is much better can we place a custom design over here too please say yes nope we cannot but that looks good this is perfectly fine i feel like this looks really good with Sherb's house. I feel like it flows really nice and Sherb even has his own crescent moon chair. So it just fits right in with the area. So now I was thinking about doing another tree. If I could fit a tree right here. I was wondering if this would grow. Let's just see if it'll go there. Yes, it will okay so i don't know if i should keep the tree or if i should cut it down into a little tree stump oh, i'm kind of liking it with just like the clutter of tree though <laughs> i thought i would want it to be a stump but i don't know anymore because it kind of looks cute oh no okay let's just plant some weeds and do some stuff over here and then we'll see what it looks like. I kind of like the way that this looks with the double cherry blossom tree. I don't know about you guys, but now we need to figure out what to do over here with this bridge. So I am gonna go ahead and just place some weeds um, in this back area just to fill in these spaces. I need to go grab another suspension bridge to place over there. So I'm gonna go grab that from Mr. Tom Nook. We got the bridge. I just need to run over to this area. I'm probably gonna have to do some terraforming because I don't think that the bridge is going to fit in this area. So let's go ahead and start up this construction app. Why won't it go there? It looks like it fits perfectly. Okay, I was thinking we can just adjust this little spot here and then we can vault on over to this side and have this come out one more width, I think. Okay, yeah, it does. It works perfectly. So let's see what it will look like. Oh my gosh, another baby bridge. Yes, <laughs> my dreams have come true. We got double baby bridges going on over here. Okay, let's pay this off and then I'm just gonna immediately time travel to tomorrow so that we can have the bridge built and then we'll have like pretty much everything done. So let's just pay this off and then I'll be right back. We are back here on the island. Let's sprint down over to the area and see what this looks like with the two bridges now built. So here we have baby bridge number one and then we have baby bridge number two how freaking cute is this okay let's look on the map really quick and you can see the little crescent moon it's so cute it's so cute i feel like maybe we should have just destroyed this little spot right here and had the bridge connect right here um i feel like i feel like that's what i want to do but at the same time i don't know if i want to do that today or should i do it should i do it i don't know i think maybe it would mess up this little tree right here. I'm not really sure. I think we're just gonna leave it like this for now and then we can just decorate around. So I do have a garden lantern that I think would be really cute just to place 
right here on this little flower circle. Okay, very cute. For connecting this bridge to the other side, I think I just want to use like some little stepping stones here and not the wooden planks because we just have so many wooden planks that I feel like it would just be overdoing it. So we're just going to use the little assortment of little stones that I have. And I think that that looks really stinking cute. And then we can do some little stars around the area and of course some flowers and things here and there oh and you know what the little bicycle would look really cute right here against this edge let's do let's do the bicycle is it taking up too much room i don't know I don't know. Let's just see what this looks like from this perspective here. This is so cute. Are you kidding me? This is adorable. I love this so much. I do think that maybe one day we will destroy this and move the bridge forward a little bit, but I think that I am just worn out from building this thing for now. So we're just going to leave it. I think this honestly turned out way better than the fairy boats. I think this matches my island so much more. And now we have all of this space over here. So comment down below your ideas for this area and also like what we should do with all of this. Should we connect it? Like what should we do? It looks a little bit funky. And also for this area over here next to the residential services, comment down below your thoughts, please, because I am just like brain dead right now. I can't think of anything. So <laughs> anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this demo day here on Emerald. We destroyed our ferry boats and now we have a beautiful crescent moon island. And I think it is just magnificent. It flows really nicely with the island. So if you did like it, please leave a like and also hit that subscribe button. We are so freaking close to 100K. I cannot believe it and turn on those post notifications if you guys don't want to miss an upload from me have a great day or night i love you so much my little fairy friends i will see you in my next video goodbye